Hey guys, I hope everybody's having a fantastic day, whether you're watching this in the morning, in the afternoon, or in the evening, I'm glad you're here. And channel members, I want to thank you guys and gals very, very much. Without you, it wouldn't be nearly as much fun, and I wouldn't be able to do some of the cool stuff that I can. And for those of you that are new or stopping by, if you're so inclined, please hit that like button, excuse me. Please hit that subscribe button and that bell notification icon. You can hit the like or dislike if you like it or dislike it. But anyways, guys, let me jump to it. This is a little, going to be a shorter review, long-term review of a knife. You guys might have seen me unbox from Amazon a couple of weeks ago. It is the Canuck or Kakuni. I don't know how to pronounce that. C-C-A-U-K-U uh, or something. And this is their C-1295, I believe. You'll see it in the title tag. But it is a slicey little kind of an EDC scalpel, I guess you'd call it. Um, made out of uh, 9CR18MOV. And then it's got these little G10 scales. Comes with this little sheath. So guys, it's a very much a, a neck knife or a pocket dropper. Um, I use it most often as a box opener, as a package opener, um, not to process cardboard, but it was great to, uh, open packages with. It would probably be really great to cut paracord if I needed to make a quick cut, or if I needed to cut out a label or a sticker, it would make a great utility blade for that. Um, and if you needed to save your Slurpee at the 7-Eleven, it would also serve for that. Um, it does not have much of a handle, guys. You know, what, what we'll do is we'll look at the knife as a knife. And then you've got to look at the value that you invest to get a knife like this if this is something you want. So what I look at is the first thing I see is a grind that has already starting to get a smile from where that plunge line is. But that bothers me zero because I know the price of this knife. I know what it costs. Um, I know that it's not going to be as refined as say um, a chickadee or something that's gonna cost you know 20 to 30 times more. Um, but anyway, so the, the grind is, um, or the, the plunge there is not giving you anywhere, not that you necessarily need to sharpen it or it would matter. This little knife is very sharp. So for getting into your packages, doing those utility cuts, or saving that Slurpee, it'll do a very, very good job at that. Now, you don't have much of a guard here, so there's not much to keep you from going up on that blade. I look at it more of a cutting instrument or tool, slashing tool, so to speak. Um, but it is small. Another thing that I noticed is it's got the smaller eyelets. Um, I've got to find some bolts to give me some options to put ulti clips on that. But the way I've been carrying this is just like I've been carrying my, um, my little J-Cal and the way I've been carrying my um, Civivi is just having it around my neck, right? It's a neck knife. I enjoy it that way. Works well and, uh, you know, gets the job gets the job done. Is it a knife that, well, let's just, let's get, get to it a little bit more because I need to, um, the, the actual punchline is the price. And guys, to be honest with you, I'll list it in the, uh, in the description. I'll list a link where I bought this on Amazon, but I can't remember if it was $11.99 or $16.99. I just don't exactly remember because I bought it with a couple of other Amazon knives. But I want to say for sake of our discussion, this is, think about a $12 knife. So if you are trying to decide if you want to carry a neck knife, for example, um, or if you want to see if you want to carry a small little fixed blade, I, I don't know that I could necessarily recommend this knife just because it's very unconventional in terms of what when i first started looking for an edc fixed blade i was looking for this knife is really designed to cut designed to do those little detail cuts kind of be like a utility knife 
could I recommend it for a utility knife replacement? Sure, the price is so good. But if this was going to be the knife that I was going to try to determine if I could carry an everyday EDC knife like the Civivi, um, little baby tiny banter there, I just think they're knives like that. Again, totally different price point, but it's going to be a, a little different in terms of, I think, what your experience will be. Let's do a couple of quick size comparisons on this guy. Let's look at it next to the baby banter. And this mini bug out. So you can see it's much smaller than the mini bug out, a good bit smaller than the baby banter. Let's take a look at it next to the Civivi little mini banner fixed blade. It's about the same size as that. The Jacob Creates Chickadee. It's about the same size as that. The latest Javon J-Cal. It's about the same length as that, guys. So I'm guessing that it's going to be, when all said and done, let's get at the promotional Javon tape measure, and we will see that this comes in right under 5 inches, 4 and 3 quarters. Cutting area is going to be right under an inch and a quarter. The handle or grip area is going to be right at three and a quarter, right under three and a quarter from here to here. And then you've got the little, um, the little hole there for a lanyard should you want a lanyard on it, right? It's got pretty thin blade stock. Um, comes down to a really sharp, sharp little edge. Let's get a quick weight on this guy. So 1.3 ounces. 1.65 with the sheath. So guys, that's the Canuck. Canuck. You'll see how it's spelled. I have a hard time pronouncing it. Canuck, um, 1295, the C1295. So hopefully you guys will uh, take a look in the description. I'll also link the Amazon link where I bought this so we can see if it was 1295 or 995, what type of deal it was. And then guys, if you haven't yet, if you get a chance, check me out on Instagram at jevans underscore knife addict underscore life. I'd appreciate it. I post there quite a bit of still life stuff pictures and the whatnot of knives but guys i appreciate you being here i appreciate you taking time to watch any of my videos and please just look out for the guy or girl to your left look out for the guy or girl to your right look out for each other go forward with love in your heart choose debate not hate i love y'all peace